today we're going to be going ahead and building a mouse trap that even your kids can make with you. Um, I don't know about you guys, but we don't really like the traditional mouse traps. We have lots of mice around our property and we wanted to find a way that would be inexpensive and cheap and so these are just some of the materials we found around the house. So we just had some scrap wood, I had a wood stake from the garden, I had some skewers, you're going to need a drill bits, a uh, drill, you're going to need a can, some tape in this case the way we build it, and a bucket and you can basically build a mousetrap out of this. So you can see my six-year-old here, he's going ahead and drilling into the bucket. You're going to want to put two holes and some sort of rod, dowel, or skewer that's going to be able to fit through there. Next thing you're going to want to do is drill a hole in a can and then you're going to actually put your rod through the middle of the can just like Max is doing here. And then in our case we had two skewers so we decided to tape the two together so that the can will spin freely on the rod. Next thing you will need is some sort of ramp to come up so that the mice can walk up the ramp and then they're going to jump onto that can and they're going to spin. Um, something to hold the ramp on is also a good idea so we just used the scrap wood and we just screwed it together with the piece that we're going to use as our ramp. So see you have here and it's going to be able to clip on the bucket so it's not going to go anywhere. It just sits on the side there nice and secure. And then you're going to want something like the mice are going to want to eat. So we took some peanut butter and you're going to see that the can will spin freely and once they go to grab the peanut butter, they are going to slip off the can and fall into the bottom of the bucket. So just put some peanut butter on each side of the can. Now you can choose to add water to the bottom of the bucket or you can just let them fall in there. You can also add an addition of some like tape onto the ramp so that they can grip onto it a little bit better. Um, and with that, you have a mouse trap. One day later and we had a mouse in there. <laughs> 